Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 6 on your side. The Senate is working late tonight as the battle continues over the $1.1 trillion spending bill. Yes, lawmakers have decided to give themselves more time on this. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is live in the newsroom with the new deadline. Scott. Yeah, Gordon Maureen, the House voted late this afternoon to keep the government running until midnight on Wednesday. That is the new deadline. It was supposed to be tomorrow at midnight, but time clearly running out for the Senate. With both money and time running out quickly, Congress just threw itself a life raft, pushing back the deadline again for approving a budget. Why the procrastinating? It's a trillion dollars summed up in 1,700 often controversial pages, prompting outcries. Being blackmailed, being blackmailed. Even defiance as top Democrats snubbed the president who's urging the Senate to pass it despite opposition from the left. There are a bunch of provisions in this bill that I really do not like. This by definition was a compromise bill. In Congress at the last part of session that there's a little bit of drama is like saying that the sun is coming up tomorrow morning. Of greatest debate, the spending bill weakens some Wall Street regulations makes major changes to campaign finance laws, diminishes the national school lunch standards advocated by the First Lady, and blocks Washington, D.C.'s new initiative, legalizing marijuana use. All right, well, if you are frustrated by it, you're hardly alone. They are on the Hill as well. Maryland Congressman Chris Van Hollen calls this, quote, Congress at its worst, adding it is, quote, an embarrassment. Of course, he's on the House side, which already approved the bill and went home for the holidays. Now the Senate can't leave until it comes to some sort of resolution as well. Maureen. Thank you so much, Scott.